Yo, dudes and dude, at your friendly neighbor, Jack's Blade is here, playing with my buddy who's hiding from me at the moment. Yeah, there he is. What's up, buddy? Doing good? Yeah. <laughs> so, I want to do this quick thing because I just woke up from a nap and I'm playing with my boy just to wake myself up. That's why I got the do rag on. Of this underrated lesson in Baki that I think is just like a really great lesson that we, you know, not a lot of people talk about. So, there's this whole scene, again, the whole scene with Cosway and Ollie Jr. and Baki, right? Where he's like, oh, God, hey, where you going, boy? Where you going? Oh, oh, go. Where he's like, hey, um, uh, Cosway's telling him, hey, this person is hitting on me. And um, they're flirting with me. They're saying like, oh, I'm so beautiful and stuff like that. And then Baki and her start like making out and they have a good time. And then Ollie Jr. shows up and he's like, hey, I want to marry your woman. All right. What you going to do about that? And Baki like looks at Kozwe and he's like, what, are you interested in him? And he's like, she's just like, well, I don't know. And give you that like bullshit answer. Like, I don't know. And you should be like, no, I'm not interested in him at all. Like I'm interested in you. But that whole thing afterwards where he's like, you know, Kozwe, if you're not happy, you can go away, like you can leave, like you can go, um, dang, I need to clean this fence from the rain, whatever. But like, um, he's pretty much saying, hey, if you're, if you wanna go and be happy with someone else, that's fine, all right? Because I'm good on my own. Like I, people come, people go, that's life. People will come in your life, people will leave your life. And I think that is just freaking beautiful lesson, isn't that right, buddy? Uh, where, he has this mentality with himself that he's built up to after all these years of just being like, I'm so dependent on the attention of uh, my father. I'm so dependent on the attention of my mother or like all these people to see me this way. He is very self-content in himself to realize, no, you know what? Like, you know, people come, people go. I think you're attractive and I like you, but if someone else thinks you're attractive and you know, they want you and you want to go with them, then fine, fuck it, you know what? Like go, all right? I don't need you, all right? I'm perfectly content by myself. And I think that is a perfect fucking plane. I'm trying to talk about some Baki shit. God dang, all right? I think that is such a powerful, lesson that we don't talk about we we'll always talk about Baki with the like the physical training and the muscles and like how insane the fights are and that's all great to watch and it's super cool but one of the most important thing about it is just like the character growth that Baki has gone through of just being this boy who like always like went out for this and now being content in himself that is just absolutely a beautiful thing and, like it's such a beautiful thing like just be like no I'm content in yourself and like I think that is something that a lot of people should try to aim for. You know what I mean? Because like the whole thing with Baki, just realizing people come, people go, I cherish what's close to me. And if it leaves, I'm not gonna overstress about it because you know, that's life. I think that is such a powerful thing to have, like that looseness. And it's not about the whole thing of like, you know, oh, I'm so alpha, I'm so simple, I'm some shit like, cause every time I hear that, it sort of makes me cringe, especially from like people I've talked to who actually are, cause they talk about how those people were over. No, that's a video for another day. Cause it's just it's a lot of overcompensation I've heard from people uh, who actually talk to people like this, but uh, that's interesting. But, um. I love that. I fucking love that whole thing of just, you know, getting to that stage in life where you are content. Like you're not content with yourself. Like you're always trying to better yourself, but like you don't have this needy connection to things. Like if people come, then, you know, they're staying and it's like cool, but like you realize like not everything is permanent. Everything is like um, temporary. Like this life is temporary. You're only here for like, you know, if you're lucky a hundred years and then, you know, it's over. Or you're only here for, you know, like 80 years, like, you know, something like that. Depends on who you are. Depends if you want to live that long. Some people don't want to live that long. But I just found that such a great lesson. Like I was watching it and talking to a friend about it. And we had a whole in-depth talk about like, you know, how like there are people who come into our lives and then we think like, oh, they're going to be f with us forever. And then we like start counting like all the people that came into our lives who like we thought would be there forever. And now they're gone. They're gone. Like it's not like, you know, gone, like some of them die. Well, sadly, some have, but some like come in and you think they're going to be there for a long period of time and they're there for a few years, but then they go away. And it's just like, wow, I really miss that connection that we used to have, but they kind of, you know, come back. And it's like this cool little thing where if someone's meant to be in your life, like they sort of like you gravitate towards each other again. Like there are people I've had in my life where I'm like, I really want this connection to work and I'm trying to force something that's not there. And like, there's this great uh, quote from Master Splinter in the 2012 Ninja Turtles series where he's talking about like how, um, 
uh, no matter how much, um, I'm gonna make you like falling down. And if you don't like, uh, he's telling this to Donatello. He's telling this to Donatello. And he's like, I'm going to make you enjoy falling down. Donatello's like, what the hell are you talking about? And so he keeps knocking him down, knocking him down, knocking him down. And then he's like, oh, do you like it yet? Do you like falling down? And he's like, no, I don't get, what the hell are we doing this for? And he's like, oh, well, perhaps you can't make someone like something. And he's like, well, duh, of course you can't make someone like Oh, and it's just like that forcing something instead of letting it be organic and natural. So, you know, if someone wants to come into your life and stay for a bit, cool. Enjoy that time. Let that time be. Have a great memories with that. But if someone wants, you know, like phase out for a bit, don't be super clingy. And again, this is a very painful thing. This is something you learn as you get older and something... Um, people will get better at of course like as you get older like especially when you go through experiences like i talked about so many times in the past but i just i love that lesson it's such an underrated lesson that we don't talk about from baki of him just being like i am content with myself i am okay with myself life goes on and i think that is just a beautiful beautiful concept like there are so like the, like the people i was having this conversation with someone who's like, oh, Baki isn't all that deep and stuff like that. And of course there's stuff that's not that deep, like it's kind of silly. There's a lot of stuff where I'm like, this is such a silly thing right here that's going on. But then when you like listen to uh, like certain things, like just going with the character of Baki and like seeing what he goes through. And of course, like it's animated to be like absolutely insane. But like the certain lessons like that, I just, I love, I love that lesson. I love that lesson. Of course, like later on in the manga, you find out like Kozue got back with him. And even though the Baki manga, I'll be completely real. I do not like where it's going. I just, I haven't been invested in Baki since he fought Yujiro and they had that whole thing. I'm not going to spoil it for the anime people who are only out there. By the way, watch season one and two. Like I always have to say, because Baki on Netflix is just season three, four and five. And uh, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to say that very quick video uh, talking about this but like um that is something I want you to do for yourself get to a point where you are content with yourself you don't need outside things you are fine on your own like build up that strength for yourself that is such a powerful powerful thing to do if you are able to build up yourself and love yourself and be able to go I'm completely content by myself like whatever I do and if people come into my life and they vibe with me cool they'll stay but I'm not gonna be obsessive about them staying I'm not gonna be like you know so clingy so needy all that stuff I think that's just a beautiful lesson from Baki but I um, want to do this quick video because it's been ringing around my head all day uh, just a little distraction fun video uh, I'll have another video coming uh, next couple weeks of course I'm still working on like big edited videos but uh, I wanted to just do that oh by the way Tough Like the Tunes comes back um, the 18th the 18th I'm gonna be working on that uh, I've just had a bunch of like stuff like I always like to do Tough Like the Tunes and Seasons and I've been upgrading it so that I can make them even better and by the way if you follow me on my Instagram at Jacksblade on Instagram you'll see all the behind the scenes stuff if you want to know like what's coming and you can see my Q&A's I do on there and like I always give hints on like what I'm doing and uh, with Bleach being back and other stuff coming back like you'll you'll see some fun stuff but uh yeah me and my boy we have fun uh I'm gonna go get this thing done because I'm waiting for the people to come fix some stuff up in the back here and then I gotta do some yard work myself but uh, yeah, thank you all for your support. Thank you all for going. I'm almost at 500,000 subscribers. So if you can hit that bell icon and subscribe, it would really help me out a lot. And I just, I, I, I want, I'm almost at 500K. So I, I'm almost at half a million. I didn't think I would get there. So that is such a big thing. But uh, thank you. Oh, man. I, I got woken up from walking out back and forth. But uh, yeah, um, by the way, um, Instagram, this, 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 and uh, yeah, I'll I'll see you guys in the next video, but keep calm, booyah on, don't forget, Momotai, I love this lesson from Baki. Tell me what one of your favorite underrated lessons uh, in media is, because that is a lesson in Baki that I've just been thinking about for a while, and I was like, I love that lesson, all right, peace.